Your sex goes on your foot. <laughs> Hi. You look more tired on the video than you do in real life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here are the headlights. <laughs> wow, Pipi. <laughs> Whoa, don't fall. <laughs> like, oh, I guess I get that. Okay, there you go. I had one hand and I had to reposition my camera. So, uh, it's Monday morning. I didn't vlog yesterday on Sunday. Um, mainly, well, partly because Brett's home all day, but, um, also a lot of it was because, uh, his friend is here on Sundays, and I feel weird enough kind of vlogging around Brett, um, let alone around his friends quite yet, so... I didn't vlog yesterday, um, but there wasn't a whole lot going on, uh, it was just the usual Sunday. We had church and then came home and just kind of hung out, had pizza, because Brett and his friend, um, well I came home from church and <gasps> had a sandwich and some chips and they were still at the church when I left the church and then they went to, um, no, it was uh, I think Lowe's or something. No, no, baby. Oh, no, it fell down. Uh, they went to Lowe's or something to get stuff because Brett had to, Brett wanted to fix our futon. Um, oh, this <laughs> child. Ugh, she's face planting. Um, but anyway, after that they picked a pizza before they came home, and I didn't know that they were gonna. Well, they didn't know that they were gonna do that, but I didn't know they were gonna do that. So I had lunch, but I went ahead and eat pizza. But anyway, so that was like the the only non-usual thing that we did yesterday, we had pizza, but, uh, Gwen's upstairs, she was up a lot, like, I woke up at, like, four or something, and she was awake, crying, um, I woke up at, like, six, or, well, yeah, I woke up at, like, six or seven something, and she was crying, and then about 7.30, when I finally convinced myself to get out of bed, um, she stopped crying, so... She's still asleep now. It's probably like 8.30, maybe going on 9. This <laughs> child. Here, you want to get down? Ugh. I was going to try to show her doing... Lately, she's been doing little raspberries. Been going... <laughs> My tongue itches though. Anyway, I'll try to get her doing that on camera. It's super cute. But I'm just kind of watching random videos on my phone. And we were cuddling. So, anyway. I'll check back in later. Hi. You say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Little ponytail. So, uh, side note. <laughs> I'm realizing as I've you know, made a vlog. I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not, but hold on. The end of my elbow here, actually my bruise is looking a lot better, but the end of my elbow, elbow, I scuffed it. Charlie, you're in the way. Why are you, why do you do what you do? Why are you the way that you are? Why? But I was over there hanging out with the girls, Annika's down taking a nap now, but I was over there hanging out with the girls, and I decided I wanted to lay down, because <laughs> lay down, like, just flop on the floor. Can you move, please, cat? in my way. Um, but anyway, he, I just decided to flop on the floor just because I wanted to. And as I did that, I landed on my elbow, which really hurt. And like, I knew that I had like broken up, opened my scab. And I had. And so I had to get tissue. <laughs> it was bleeding. So there's that. Um, so now it's like, it's not bleeding anymore, but it's kind of broken open. So it's a little more, uh, uh, I want to say sore, but what's the other word? Sensitive. It's a little more sensitive than, than it had been. Sorry if I scratched you. She's trying to grab this thing. Like the kitties. And then I think I scratched her nail. Oh, I did my nails. Did I show you that? I don't, I don't think I did because I did them yesterday. But uh, anyway, I'm going to the remote now. So that happened. Um, 
So yeah, I made, anyway, I made a list. Maybe it's better if I move here so it's not backlighting. But I made a list. I started, um, this is only my second week working, like, just being a stay-at-home mom. But, um, I started... Uh, last week, and I'm going to try to do it every, every week, where I make a list, like on paper or with pen, um, of all the things I want to get done, like cleaning-wise or organizing or whatever, um, throughout the week. And then, like, either that night, or I do that like on Sunday type thing, um, at some point. And then either that night or Monday morning type thing, before the day really starts, I go through and write... I can show you. Don't put that in your mouth, please. No. I'll be right back, okay? I gotta show you. I threw the paper away because I got it. I just finished doing it, but um, then I go through on this dry erase calendar and write down like all the things, like these notches here are the different things. So I have like four, two, three, four, five things today. I actually just did this thing, so I can erase that. Oh, poop. Oh well, I know what it says. Um, and then but I went through and wrote down on each day what I wanted to do each day. And then right now Friday's open and usually don't really plan to do anything um, on Saturday or Sunday. That's like the weekend and relaxing days. And I could do some cleaning, but I don't really plan like, oh, I'm going to do this on Saturday for, most, for the most part. I could do some organizing, but, um, but anyway, most of the things for today are organizing things. Um, so like I want to put the girls laundry away and I just erased a thing but I want to put the girls laundry away um, I want to do my laundry um, my laundry I won't be doing until um, I have a volleyball game tonight so I won't be doing it until after I get back from a volleyball game so I can change into pajamas and I only have like one bra that fits me really so <laughs> I try to do that when I can have a time where I can wear like go around the house without a bra so I'll wait till later tonight. I would do my laundry on Sunday nights, but Brett's friend is usually here all day Sunday, like up until after I go to bed. So I don't want to be walking around without a bra on. But so I'm gonna do my laundry later tonight. Um, but I have the girls get the girls' laundry put away. Um, organize Annika's clothes because she has some clothes that just need to be um, distributed differently in her. Um, closet system thing and then Brett's dress I'm going to be going through and I think I mentioned well I'm pretty sure I did lightly um, last week uh, when I was doing so it, may, it might have been the last the most recent vlog actually I'm not sure um, well I don't know whatever vlog I was going through and doing stuff upstairs last week um, but I was like kind of tidying our room and I was showing Brett's dresser and how I wanted to get rid of a bunch of stuff there. Um, and he said that he wants to be, he was telling his friend yesterday that he wants to be more, he didn't say minimalist, but he doesn't want to have a bunch of stuff. He, if it was up to him, he would just go through and get rid of stuff on like an interval of time. Like every now and then he'd just go through and get rid of stuff, which I am all for, like totally for, especially since I've been watching um, Natalie Bennett. <laughs> She's a vlogger on YouTube, and she does, uh, well, actually, most of her videos uh, lately are, like, decluttering and minimalism and stuff. Um, so, if you're interested in that or want some motivation for that, please go check her out. <laughs> I don't know her personally, but I like her videos. Um, so, anyway, all her minimalist videos and stuff, like, have really have me, like, wanting to, like, not the kind of Mari or anything like that, but not, like, major stuff or, like, a small home or anything. What is, what is going on? What happened? What's wrong? Oh, did you put your sister's thing up? I'm pretty sure that thing was down before. She probably bonked her head on the way up. I'm going to come back in here, but you can come in here. Um, but anyway, so I'm, all, I'm really for the idea of just getting rid of extra stuff that we don't use. And usually, Brett's more on the side of wanting to keep things in case we might use it later. And I'm just like, we're not using this. We haven't used it in like over a year. I just want to get rid of it. Charlie! He noticed that I wasn't paying attention. He loves rubbing on my black pants, which drives me crazy. Yeah, just just swap. Yeah, just do that. If you're okay, mommy's mommy's talking. Hi, hi. I don't know why she's fussy. She actually woke up late this morning, like ten or so. But anyway, so long story short, Brett gave me permission, pretty much, to just like 
get get all the stuff out of his out of his dresser because he says he's not gonna wear most of it. What he's gonna wear is what I've seen him wearing, which is what I figured. But in the past, he's been like, oh, I don't know if I want to get rid of that because because of this it has a like a memory tied to this or this, and so I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get him to get rid of anything. But he's like, if you just put it in like a basket and I can just like sort through it and be like, yeah, I don't want any of this, then then I'll do that because <laughs> I was telling him that like. I didn't want to go through his stuff and get rid of stuff that he might be upset at me for getting rid of. So um, that's part of my plan. I put Brad's dresser. So I'm going to like pull out all the t-shirts and anything that I think that he might not want, which is like, I'm not going to leave the boxers in there and I'll leave the socks in there and um, yeah, so most of that. <laughs> but uh, the shirts are probably going to go and I'll put in the stuff from his like on top of his dresser and he can decide what he wants or doesn't want and I'm very excited to be able to close his I mean it's broken anyway but to be able to comfortably close his his drawers a little better and I need to go through my stuff again because I just got a bunch of new sweaters and actually this one I know that I've gained a little bit of weight since you need to go away Charlie you're driving me crazy I've gained a little bit of weight uh, since before Gwen at least <laughs> before I was pregnant with Gwen but, um, this shirt, oh, thank you, Charlie, um, feels almost like a, uh, crop top anymore, and I don't know, I don't dry it, so I don't think it's shrinking from that, but maybe from, like, the hot water in the washer, I don't know, but each time I put it on, it's like, it's not really, like, a shirt I can hardly wear with leggings anymore. Don't do it. Beat him up. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy keep knocking him over so anyway I got a bunch of new sweaters and stuff for Christmas and so I'm probably gonna go through and maybe even this one get rid of some new stuff I might not do it till spring or something I don't know but I'm probably gonna go through my closet again and get rid of some stuff maybe go through my dresser and get rid of some stuff I got some new leggings I need to get at least one pair of jeans that fit me I have a, I just threw away the pair that the one pair that did fit me because it was getting holes in the crotch and I have a couple others that I own but they don't fit me I'm gonna beat this cat okay anyway Gwen's sad Charlie's driving me crazy but I, I just wanted to, to talk to you again um, I didn't even finish what I was mainly trying to say was that most of those things are upstairs the laundry thing, the Annika's clothes thing, breast dresser, that all has to be done upstairs. And I don't want to do that while the girls, either of the girls are awake. So, Annika's currently asleep, so I don't, I can't do it right now. Gwen is going to probably be laying down by the time Annika wakes up. So, probably eventually today I'll get that done and maybe I'll show you some stuff. Um, I probably won't vlog again until then. <sighs> I'll see you when I'm doing this guys I'm waiting on this thing to load so I was like I thought about it but um I did go upstairs and I put the girls stuff away and kind of organized Annika's stuff it's I'm not super happy with it but without like a without like one more I don't know without a couple more probably bins I don't really Think it's gonna get much better but it's all right it's just there's just a lot in the drawers so but uh the girls are over there playing i want this thing to load maybe i'll just lock it uh brett's gonna be home soon i guess in like half an hour um but gwen's reading books annika's playing with a toy we got the mower today oh gwen I was hoping not to distract her. Yeah, she was sad. She was perfectly happy. But anyway, the uh, mower came in today. We also... Uh, we got our new insurance cards. But we also got uh, in two separate mail things. Uh, just more information about the stuff for, <laughs> uh, for the girls. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> There's a thing inside of it that's kind of wrapped in plastic, kind of, but I don't know what it is, so whatever. 
Um, all the things upstairs. So she's probably gonna come upstairs, but I'll bring her back down. Oh. <laughs> Andy goes over there burying her head in the ground. What are you doing, Andy? <laughs> Alright, well, Gwen's gonna follow me upstairs, but I just wanna go show you the, uh, I went through bread stuff. And I'll show you the laundry basket of stuff because he was like, oh, just put it in the laundry basket and I'll go throw it. It's cold in here. But uh, that's the laundry basket of stuff. So I'm going to offer to him that if he wants, I'll even like take things out piece by piece and show it to him and be like, do you want this? Do you want this? And he can be doing stuff on his computer and talking to, talking to his friend if his friend comes over tonight because I'm doing, I have volleyball tonight, which I think I mentioned before. Anyway, I thought I heard the dog. I'm, it probably did, but it sounded weird. Um, but anyway, I have volleyball tonight, which I wish I had mentioned. What are you doing? But uh, he mentioned, I think yesterday, yesterday or like the day before or something, that he may have, can I have you sit down or something? Woo, it's slippery. Um, he may have Craig, his friend, come over today, um, partially so they can work on some stuff that he wants to do, um, but also partially so Craig can help him watch the girls while I go to volleyball, so we'll see. Um, he should be getting home in about half an hour or so, so I assume if Craig's coming over, he'll pick him up on his way home. I would assume that would be the plan. But, uh, yeah, he has a lot of clothes to go through, but like I said, I honestly don't mind, like, if it was up to me, I'd just get rid of all of it and not have to worry about it, but I don't want to make decisions that he's going to be upset about, so I just need him to make the decision. Okay, um, so I'm even willing to hold up the clothes piece by piece and be like, do you want this? No? Okay. Do you want this? Yes? Okay. And just, like, put it in different piles or something. Um... I really don't mind. I just, it's just a matter of like, I don't want to make a decision that he's going to be upset about. So he needs to make the decision. I'll do whatever I can to make that decision happen. <laughs> anyway, um, I may show you the result of that if we get that done. Um, otherwise, I don't know if I'll vlog anymore today. We'll see. <laughs>